on Friday, 21st of May 2021, People's Gazette reported that the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development says President Muhammadu Buhari confirmed the approval of constructing a Friday mosque for headsmen in Bonu to meet the demand of a displaced community. He noted that the ministry memos approving 30 million naira to construct a Friday mosque was an official document available for public scrutiny and review. It explained that the center was for a community of livestock farmers displaced by Boko Haram insurgents resettled in the Ngaramam Mafa local government area of Bono State. This statement has mixed reaction from Nigerians on Twitter. Check some of the reaction of people on Twitter. We have Jenica reacted on Twitter and said, Religion is the problem of Nigeria. People who don't have access to good water, hospitals, and schools for their children not even a decent shelter to let their heads but a 30 million naira place of worship will be built for them a sosa also reacted on twitter and said minister of information isa approved 133 million naira public funds to scholars to promote and spread Islamic religion and then this. What is all this? Spending huge amounts of money unnecessarily on churches, mosques, religion that will, you know, use nothing but poverty and division. We have had different reactions from people on Twitter. We also have Steiny who also reacted to this and said that I commend Buhari for approving 30 million naira mosque for killers headsmen. This should put an end to the bloodshed and grazing problem in Nigeria. What do you make of what has been said? We also have Pius Ugweke who have also reacted to this and said, We build 30 million naira mosque for displaced headers, Minister of Agriculture. So, mosque is now a refuge for displaced people. This doesn't hold water and I take it as an insult to our sensibilities. Has the government ever compensated farmers who farm got destroyed by killer headsmen? What do you make of what Pius have said? That this does not hold water and it takes an insult to our sensibilities. You know, you are spending huge money on mosque and government never compensate farmers who farm got destroyed, you know, by killer headsmen. Ambrose Nwachuku also reacted to this and said, what about the farmers who crops are destroyed by the cows and who get maimed, raped, displaced and killers? by these elders are the government going to approve same amount to build them church for sunday services and other midweek service we have had what ambrose Nwachuku have also said about this that since you could approve 30 millionaire for mosque what of these farmers who their crops are being destroyed by their cows and they got maimed you know, raped, displaced, and killed by these elders. Are the government going to approve same amount of money to build them Sunday church? What is your say to what has been said? We would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on what has been said. We would like to know your own point of view and reaction to this that has been said. We have had different, you know, comments from people on Twitter. We have seen people who have reacted to this and said if the government could, you know, 
approve such huge amount of money to call you know be a build uh mosque for these people then they should be able to build church also for this farmer who crops are being destroyed by their cows they have been maimed and you know some of them were even raped what do you make of what has been said but before we go let's see people's reactions and see their own thoughts about what has been said about this let's see their own point of view about this Derek Buta reacted to this and he said churches are burnt every day in the north and nobody is doing anything about it what do you make of what Buta have said about this that churches are being burnt every day in the north and nothing is being done about it and you are approving this huge amount of money to build mosque what do you make of what is happening in nigeria what is your thought about this and on the same hands livingstone also reacted to this and his reaction was how many millions did he awarded for church building for farmers because the last time i checked churches have come under attacks more than mosque in the said bono state you see these are the kinds of selfishness that attack the you know attract pardon the wrath of god we have heard what livingstone have said about this that can you award the same amount you have awarded for this mosque to build churches for you know farmers because the last time i checked churches have been under attack even more than the mosque in the said bono state this is the kind of selfishness that attracts the wrath of god over a country what do you make of this ini abasi also reacted to this and said that let 30 million naira also be raised for church in bono to also meet the demand of the displaced community do you think the president of nigeria can do what these people are asking of him that the same way he's you know approving 30 billion era to 30 million era pardon to build you know a mosque can he also you know approve 30 million era also to raise you know church in bono to also meet the demand of the displaced community what do you think about this people have referred to buhari as the worst you know president we ever had in nigeria currently now we have a nepotist and a religion you know